In this new example, we create an empty project called Blazor App Grid. We've added the two NuGet Fluent UI Blazor components packages and the icon library. As usual, we add a global using in the Fluent UI components service. To simplify our demo, we use the server rendering mode and remove the default margins from the body tag. In the main page, we place our Fluent Grid component, which will take up the entire height of the page, with reducing the margins between elements. Our first zone is the page header, which will take up the full width, i.e. 12 graduations. Our second zone is the left-hand menu, and the third zone is the main content of the page. The footer is, like the header, distributed across the entire width. We want the left menu to be set at 200 pixels, for example, and the content to take up the rest of the width and a page height minus the heights of the header and footer. To visualize something, we'll decorate the areas with a red border. The result is a header, a menu and content, and a footer. We can imagine the left menu disappearing on small devices such as phones. This is indeed the case if the browser width is reduced. On the other hand, on a phone, the menu button should be at the top. We create a variable to detect this and set it to true when we enter this XS mode. A hamburger icon is displayed when the menu is at the top. The hamburger icon is present when the browser is minimized. Last but not least, why not reduce the left-hand menu to this hamburger icon if the user so wishes? Using a checkbox to simplify our example? The style of the left menu will then be either 32 pixels or 200 pixels depending on whether or not the box is checked. The result is exactly as expected, the menu shrinks according to the checkbox. If we modify the zone styles to have blue and gray colors instead of red borders, the result is this. You can, of course, let your imagination run wild to manage multiple screen sizes or other content zones.